Hi everyone, I'm Donna from Mason Creations ETC. I am so glad to see all my followers back with me today. And to those of you who aren't followers yet, welcome to my channel. I bring craft videos just like this one every Tuesday morning. This video is a mixed media tutorial. I'll do some simple mixed media techniques using air dry clay, paint, and vinyl lettering. Let's get started, shall we? The first thing I'm doing is wiping down the jar with just some ordinary rubbing alcohol. It removes any dirt, debris, oil, fingerprints from the jar so that your paint will stick better. I'm painting the base color of this jar a pale blue. And the paint that I use is ordinary wall paint. What I buy are the little samples and they mix it in any color that I like. I get it at Home Depot, but you could have this mixed at any home improvement store. And it works just as good, if not better, than craft paints. As I'm painting this jar, I'm being real careful not to get any paint on the threads. If there's paint on the threads, the lid that we're going to put on it won't screw on properly. After my first coat of paint, I'm going to spray it with some matte clear sealer. And then I'll go on to put another two coats of paint. This is a very important step. If you don't have the spray between the first and second coats, they don't adhere together properly. After the three coats of paint, I put one more coat of the matte clear spray on it. I'm using some painter's tape to cover the threads of the jar because I don't want to get any of the spray sealer on the threads either. While I'm waiting for my paint to dry, I'm making my butterfly and the little sunflowers. I'm using DAS clay for the butterfly and I'm going to form it on the jar and let it dry, capturing the shape of the jar as it dries. The sunflowers I'm going to use delight clay, just because it's a little bit easier to work with and dries quickly. I'm putting a piece of plastic wrap on the jar before I actually lay the butterfly on there because the DAS clay does make a little bit of a mess on your jar. Now I'll let that dry overnight. I pre-cut the words antibacterial soap with my Cricut machine. If you don't have a Cricut machine, you can just use stencils to do this. I've laid the butterfly on the jar where it's going to be so I can get a better idea of where I want the lettering to go. And I'm going to mark it with a piece of tape so that I know exactly where to put this at the bottom. Let me know what you think of this video and let me know what you'd like to see next. Now I'm putting transfer tape over top of the lettering so I can transfer it from the paper onto my jar. I'm rubbing it a little bit so that it comes off onto the transfer tape. Now I'm going to rub with a squeegee to make sure that everything transfers from my tape to the jar. I also use a roller after everything's transferred just to make sure all the air bubbles are out and everything is adhering properly. I'm gluing some coffee stir sticks onto the backs of my 
flowers and my butterfly just give them a little bit of a handle and something to hold on to while I'm painting them. I'm painting the sunflowers a gold and then I will put in a dark brown center and I'll paint the little leaves a green color. After painting, I'm setting them in a cup to dry. I'm painting the butterfly orange with a black trim. I'm going to make him look real similar to a monarch butterfly because they are my favorite butterflies. One of the wings I have flipped up a little bit, so the back side of it is going to show. I'm putting a little bit of paint on the back side of that. I'm adding a little bit of gold paint to the orange to make it kind of shimmery. I want to make this butterfly beautiful. I'm going to add some depth and definition now by adding some antiquing medium to the flowers and the butterfly. It's a little bit thick coming out of the jar for me, so I've mixed it with some water. I'm going to put it on the flowers and then wipe and dab until it comes off of most of it and just gets left in the crocks. and back in the cup again to dry. I'm adding a little bit of gold paint to the top of the sunflowers, the little leaves, and I'm gonna put some more on the butterfly because I simply just cannot stop once I get started with gold paint. Once everything is dry, I'm going to give them all a coat of triple thick glaze. I'm marking the jar with some painter's tape exactly where I want to put this butterfly. So once I have the glue on it, I know exactly where I'm going to lay it. And I'll be using E6000 glue for just the butterfly.
I'm going to use my hot glue gun to set the flowers and the leaves on the jar. Since I made those out of the Delight clay, they'll bend a little bit around the curvature of the jar as I glue them. I'm going to decorate the butterfly with some rhinestones and pearls. I'm putting gold rhinestones on the body of the butterfly and I'm giving him some dark blue eyes and then I'm putting pearls around the outside edge on the black to where it looks like the white dots on a monarch butterfly. There are three little dots on each wing that I'm gluing a black rhinestone on. I'm cleaning up the bottom of the jar because I got a lot of paint on there as I was working on this. I'm using a clay sculpting tool to scrape it off the glass and then just a damp rag. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that thumbs up button and give me a like. Don't forget to share it with your friends. Be sure to subscribe so I can keep bringing you craft videos just like this one in the future. Leave me a comment. I love hearing from all of you.